girls who know you're fucking can fuck other girls or better behave than those who know you're the only option or they're your only option. Again, that's how, even if you're not fucking a bunch of girls, it's better for them to believe you have options, disappear a little bit, don't respond quickly to their texts or calls. And again, you know, vary your response rate so she doesn't necessarily know where you're at. Is it deceptive? Who fucking cares? Women love it. They love the shit. They love not knowing where you're at. They love mystery. They love thinking, and it turns other women on to think that you're fucking somebody younger and more attractive. No, if you're married with 10 kids, that's not going to work. But if you're single and ready to, for lack of a better word, mingle, um, if you're single and she thinks you've got no girls, she's like, well, why? Why would I want them then? Girls want men that other women want or approve of. Again, this is hard for most people to really wrap their head around, but like your ex-girlfriend's best friends or friends group is the easiest to hook up with after a breakup because you come pre-approved. It's like, it's like showing up at a car dealership with, I've got my loan. You know, they want loan more than a cash. You go, yeah, I've already got my loan. I'm ready you know, for whatever reason, you come pre-approved. That's what girls want to see. And I tell guys this over time, like if you, you know, start getting a reputation as a player, that's a good thing. Girls, do, they'll pretend to mind. They don't really care. In fact, it benefits you because it means other girls have approved this guy. He hasn't really settled down. I know he's here for fun. I think I'll have some fun with him myself. So that's the real deal. You come pre-approved and you can expect two things. Believe it or not, you'll actually get fewer shit tests because you're, you're kind of like, they already know you're going to blow through some of these things and they'll tend to have sex with you faster. None of this makes sense to anybody on the outside looking in and they think I'm full of shit. But once you start running game, you're being two or three girls a week and it starts, they can smell it on you. They know the way you carry yourself. You just had sex and you, then you walk in and they know this is a guy that gets laid a lot and they want to fuck you too. They don't know why, but they just know. And then that's what you're there for. That's the real deal. Girls who know you have options are better behaved because the only thing they have for leverage is cutting you off. And you see it all the time. You know, guys, well, what's kind of like after marriage where the girls cut their hair off and start gaining weight within like six months of getting married. Consciously or unconsciously, she knows he has no options. Is it fair? Is it right? No, but it's what happens. So a guy, again, who's always knows he's got one foot out the door. He's like capable of putting somebody in his bed that evening. The girls will be far more accommodating, far more friendly, and far more agreeable than if they think that she is her, your only option and that if she were to walk, you'd have to go without for a while, if ever. So just keep that in mind. Girls who know you're fucking can fuck. Other girls are better behaved than those who know they're your only option. That's why you always want to be in some manner, always flirt a little bit, Keep your game sh skills sharp. Be social. Never, um, you know, if a girl's flirting with you, never try to shut that down, even if your girlfriend's nearby, because it's good for her to see that you're attracted to other women. Um, it, in her head, it confirms her decision making. There's no downside. Women want to be with a man that other women want, consciously or unconsciously. So run game or just be your charismatic, lovable self um, and your girl will be happier and you'll be getting more sex with less resistance. If any resistance at all, you'll probably have to like say, honey, I've, I've got to take a break. So that's the real deal. Girls who know you have options are fucking can fuck other girls are better behaved than those who know you're you're their only option. And another thing that you can look at um, is 
my how to how girls know that you're fucking other girls, your posture, your satisfied look on your face, that just fucked appearance. All these things kind of look how to look like this. And again, you don't have to be running a rotation of three or four girls to put off the aura of a man who is banging three or four girls. In game, you can fake it till you make it. And then you're like turning around, you're like, and I've had emails and I've had guys reach out and they're like, this week I've had sex with like three different girls for the first time in my life. He goes, what do I do not to fuck this up? And you know, there's things that you can do. But again, this is normal. Once you kind of like get these basics down in game at about, you know, anywhere between four weeks and six months, depending on your environment and your luck, um, you will have sex with two, three, four different women. And then you're like, holy fuck, what am, what's going on? And it's very, it's a very natural progression. Um, that's the real deal. Girls who know you're fucking can fuck other girls are actually better behaved than those who know they're your only option. See it all 